Dreallday.com. Dre Dreallday.com. Uh, today, let's talk about people's insecurities. You know, they, they say, you know, psychologists say, or you know, some experts on mindset and psychology say that everybody has some form of insecurities and I don't know I haven't really thought too deeply about that one but I'm gonna tell you something that I did here years ago that I thought of here today and it's that when you want to know what a person is insecure about if you are if you are you hear somebody talk a certain way you want to know if you're listening to an insecurity all you got to do is listen for when you hear somebody bragging so my wise person once told me this and when I thought about it it made sense and when you hear somebody bragging about something on and on they keep talking about or keep putting it in your face whatever it is they do or what they have or what they've done they're showing you their insecurities and when i thought about that it really made sense i don't know if any of you have read robert green's the laws of human nature uh, robert green is my favorite author so anytime he puts a book out i read it like as soon as it comes out but he writes pretty long books so it takes some time to read it but i read that one as soon as it came out and one of the things that he talks about in the book and many psychologists have talked about this. He wasn't the first one, but I'm just thinking of his book. But that people, when they're trying to mask something, when someone's trying to hide something about themselves or they, it's something about them that they wanna make sure you don't see or that you don't notice, what human beings do, the way we compensate for that is to show the opposite trait. So for example, if a person is a really nasty, uh, malicious like person who's like always plotting and scheming against other people but they don't want you to notice that they're that type of person they will show a very gracious very ingratiating overly friendly personality on the surface they show that they're really friendly and bubbly and happy and nice to everybody that's the front that's their representative as we say what all they're actually masking is the exact opposite so if you really want to know what someone's real, if someone has a really strong uh, trait to their personality, all you have to do is look for a person who shows a very, very strong surface representative type of trait. And whatever that trait is that they're showing on the surface that they want to make sure everyone sees, that means they're probably hiding the exact opposite trait. I remember I was at this conference once and there was this woman who was speaking there and the way she carried herself was that she walked around the whole place as if she knew everybody. And she was just really bubbly, really friendly, cool with everybody, taking pictures with people, and just so nice and like life of the party type of individual. But there was something off about this chick. I don't know what, I didn't know her. And I'd only encountered her that one time, but it seemed like she had been there before and she knew some people, but she didn't know everybody. But she was carrying herself like she was the, like the damn president walking around and I was like, it was just seemed very fake. It seemed very contrived the way that she was conducting herself. I'm like, I know that's not her real personality. It was just something off about it, but I couldn't exactly put my finger on it. You know, when you're dealing with a person and something about their personality seems off, but you can't quite explain what it is. And when I thought about what I'm talking to you about, I thought about her. I just thought about her now while I'm saying this, is that usually when someone is overtly being too much one way and you can tell that they're trying to be like that is not natural they're trying to be that like that that's probably because they're hiding the exact opposite personality trait that's the real thing with them so anytime so just keep this in mind when next time you hear somebody bragging about something that they got or something that they did or they're making a big show of being a certain type of person and it doesn't have to be it doesn't matter what it is. It could be a positive thing or a negative thing. What they're actually hiding is the opposite trait. And that's the insecurity that they're trying to uh, keep away from you for whatever reason. And it's not always the same reason. It's not always the same trait. And it's not like it's always a woman or always a man or young or old or anything like that. Because, I mean, if you think about this, human beings, we're all different. We're all unique. We all have different wirings. We all got different backgrounds. We all come from different places and we all have unique experiences. So why any of us conducts ourselves a certain way isn't really, we can't always figure that out. It ain't, well, we can figure it out if you're looking at each individual person, but you can't just say, well, people who do this is because of this. That's not the way that it works. Uh, you can't put any group of people into a box like that even if they're from the same place or they look the same or work at the same job or anything like that it's just for you to understand this is just a law of human nature that people use the opposites to mask whatever they're trying to hide and when somebody's bragging about something they're probably insecure about it. that's why they're bragging about it they're trying to show you that 
they're really happy and uh, excited about it or feel positive about it, but that's not actually what it is. They're actually insecure about it. They really feel very weak and afraid about it. That's why they keep talking about it. So if you really think about that and look into your own life at people that you've dealt with who maybe brag a lot or they seem to be putting on a big show of a certain part of their personality, but you could tell it's not real, now you know where that's coming from. And I would suggest you go read The Laws of Human Nature by Robert Greene. It's a very long book, but it's a very in-depth, very detailed book, very well-researched book. And those are the ones that you can learn the most from because those are the ones that most people won't read. That's one reason right there. Work on your game. Dre all day.